Hello guys, uh, in this video I'll show you how to install JDK on your um, uh, Mac OS machine. Uh, JDK uh, basically is the Java development kit. Uh, this is actually the first starting point uh, for developing any Java applications uh, on this machine. So it has to be installed on your machine. So, uh, so to do that I'll go to Google and type uh, download JDK. Um, JDK. Uh, so I'll go to the Oracle uh, website, the official Oracle website. So we have uh, an option down here. We're not interested with the GRE or uh, we're interested to download the JDK because JDK will come with the GRE. So I'll click download and go to the accepting the license agreement. And uh, based on your operating system, you can pick um, whichever uh, type that you actually need to have on your machine. Uh, so I'm on Mac OS, I'll uh, pick this one here and hit the download button. So this will give me uh, download the latest version of the JDK. So I already have this one and let me cancel this out. I have, I have it already downloaded, so I have the JDK latest version. So once you have it here, uh, all you have to do is double click on it. This will launch a separate uh, Java um, window that will let you to install it onto your machine. So this is the an installer. You double click on it, and this will again uh, initialize another window to walk you through the installation process. So from this point on, you just hit next, 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 and then you have uh, JDK installed your machine. It's just a simple step. So let me get rid of it. So the next thing is after we have our JDK, we need to configure our uh, TAS variables and our Java underscore home variables. So to do that first, uh, we have to go to our command prompt. I'm on my command prompt right here. Uh, you can actually launch your uh, terminal by going to um, searching on your uh, machine by typing terminal. That will, that will get your terminal. So I'm on uh, my terminal right now. So what you need to do is uh, there's a, a file called bash underscore profile. So if you actually are setting up this stuff for the first time, then you probably don't have it on your machine. So you need to configure that one. So we need to use uh, a VI editor to uh, edit this uh, file. So I go vi, it's under my uh, home directory, that bash underscore profile. So it's an empty file right now. So what you have to do is uh, we need to, uh, I have to be on insert mode, pressing I, and then I have to export java underscore home. So this is a variable that we need to export so so the jdk that we actually uh, downloaded and installed uh, will be under uh, user uh, lib exe slash java underscore home so this is where we find this uh, jdk installed so we can assign that java underscore home to this uh, uh, directory that's the first thing. And then we need to um, uh, append uh, the path variable to, um, to our Java underscore home. So path colon uh, Java underscore home. Java underscore home. There you go. So now we have it. Perfect. So now let me escape colon WQ to save it. Now I have it. So now if I do Java C dash version, this should give me my, um, there you go, I have the latest version installed. But if you don't have any Java uh, or JDK installed your machine, uh, bas basically Java C is for the uh, JDK. And if you do Java dash version, that's for your GRE. I'm running on GRE 1.8 and JDK 1.8. So you can see which version is installed. Um, so that's it. Uh, this is how you install it. Thanks so much.